Let's get right to it. For many in technology, the ultimate job is one in big tech, and no big tech company has more appeal than Google. For me, it was always Microsoft. When I started in IT, there was no Google. The king then was Microsoft. If you didn't recognize the pick on the thumbnail, it's the Harvard Shield. I didn't know what it was either, nor do I care, but I needed to make a point here. A study recently of big tech companies, specifically the FANG types, indicate that Google receives approximately 2 million applications every year, and one out of every 130 to 150 engineers who apply go through. Let's compare this with Harvard, which accepts 1 in 15 applicants. Quite clearly, getting into Google is about 10 times harder than getting into Harvard's freshman class, so your chances of getting into a FANG company aren't really that good. I'm not a fan of most large tech companies. Here are a few reasons why I'll never work at Google. Number one, the interview process. Applicants who get invited to interview spend around four to six weeks going through an intense, multi-meeting interview process. Yes, I said weeks there. What's insane is the hiring manager and team don't choose you. Your information is sent to a hiring committee, which decides if you're fit to be hired. You may be asked to do a project. One applicant claims he spent 70 hours working on an assignment, only to be rejected with no feedback on the work he submitted. I have no patience for that bullshit. Number two, the big tech stereotype. With over 2 million people applying each year, the majority of whom don't get hired, it's not hard to imagine that those cut out don't feel great about themselves. And while I'm sure most stay humble, there are a lot of stories out there about some Googlers acting a little better than their counterparts. That means even if you're the nicest person on the planet, many people are automatically going to assume you're full of yourself. Like it or not, you're going to be judged, misperceived, and potentially discriminated against for landing the most coveted job in the world. Number three, you always need to be in your A game. Just because you got a job at Google doesn't mean you're going to keep it. Working with the brightest minds in the world who are driven daily to reach new levels of success is intense and stressful. You're going to need to bring your A game every day you come to work. You'll need to keep up or you're going to find yourself moving on. How would you like to explain, I couldn't hack it at Google to your next employer? Now, I'm not trying to dissuade you from trying. If your dream in life is to work at a big tech firm, then you need to pursue that dream. Here's some advice. Become really good in a niche, author a book, and get a job at a tech firm that's not as hard to get into as Google, like Uber or Amazon. Once you have these on your resume, other tech firms will almost always give you an interview. Additionally, there are programs out there that are going to help you prepare for a career in big tech. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great day.